السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹ سو ہی وی گو ود دا فورتھ لیکچر آف کلاس سیون اینڈ ایٹ کولیبریٹڈ انگلش لیکچر اینڈ ایز یو آل نو دیٹ وی ہیو بین ورکنگ آن انگلش گرامر اینڈ سو فار وی ہیو ڈن پریزنٹ ٹینس سمپل اینڈ کنٹینیوس نا ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور اباؤٹ پاس ٹینس سمپل ٹینس اینڈ کنٹینیوس ٹینس وائی آئی ہیو یو نو جمپ اوور پاس ٹینس بائی اسکیپنگ اوور دی لاسٹ ٹو کیٹیگریز آف پریزنٹ ٹینس وچ ور پریزنٹ پرفیکٹ and present perfect continuous the notion the idea that i did this is to make you understand more quickly uh, and in the parallel sense about uh, both tenses okay so here we go that the slide which is being displayed over to you showing you the present tense chart of simple and continuous category and also showing you the chart of past simple and continuous tense so you can now compare and analyze the difference between these two tenses and between the two tenses categories comparatively and in parallel so in past tense we have you know uh, the activity which is completed in routine 24 hours ago and the past continuous shows the activity which is in process 24 hours ago okay so the basic difference between present simple and past simple is a form of the verb we use a second form of the verb in past simple now as far as the difference between continuous present and continuous past the only major difference lies is uh, at the helping verb side like we use is am are in present tense for continuous portion and was and were uh, for past continuous Uh, category was for singular and were for plural so i hope that students you have completed the uh, tenses that we have uh, sent towards the whatsapp group now i ask you i advise you to convert all those present tenses to the past tenses so this could be your homework so here you go with a chapter slide which is being displayed to you in this chapter i am going to briefly define you about uh, the content of the chapter and then you are requested you are advised to uh, find out the words meaning make a summary of this uh, short chapter and also recognize the tenses being used uh, in this uh, you know chapter so this chapter is telling us about a natural calamity calamity means a natural disaster uh that is in the form of earthquake which happened on 17th Jan- january 1995 the earthquake hit the japanese city of ko which has population of around 10 million okay 10 million people and the epicenter epicenter means the point that uh, is the origin of the earthquake the point that has the starting you know uh, result of the earthquake okay so the epicenter was uh, 20 km southwest of the city so it was early in the morning the time was early in the morning when the earthquake hit the japanese city's uh, japanese city kobe it lasted only 20 second but the result were catastrophic catastrophic means disastrous very dangerous so consequently the earthquake you know totally destroyed the high speed railway link which was you know uh, located at the capital city of tokyo it also destroyed the bridges and all the pillars around the road so the total duration of the calam- of the natural calamity was just 20 second but the results were quite catastrophic moreover uh, it was reported that more than 100000 buildings were uh, you know destroyed 300,000 uh, people lost their homes 500 people were killed uh, so the result was uh, you know you can see you can imagine very catastrophic we should pray that uh, we all may be protected by the mercy of Allah all the time and so students uh, this is a, a whole content and whole uh, central idea of this chapter uh, you are supposed to make a summary summary should include a little introduction the main body and then the conclusion moreover the words and meanings that you will be finding out you should also make the sentences for those words so that you can improve your drafting skills as well and you should read out the chapter and make a 1 minute video of your reading okay 
थैंक यू सो मच अल्लाह हाफिज़